this problem we have two particles on the s-axis and they're both moving back and forth because they're both some kind of sine function this one has a little phase shift here that's uh, just got it behind a little bit so we've got I guess our s-axis here's uh, zero here's negative one and here's one and with time the particles are moving um, back and forth and we want to know uh, when do they meet um, and what's the farthest apart that they get and then when is the distance between them changing the fastest so um, first when do the particles meet they would meet when um, the position of particle 1 equals the position of particle 2 which would be when sine t equals sine t plus pi thirds let's see one way to solve this problem would be to use the formula for um, maybe use the formula for the angle sum. Let's see what happens there. The sine of a plus b is the sine times the cosine plus the cosine times the sine. So let's use our formula for angle sum. Of course the <clears throat> the cosine of pi thirds is one half and um, the sine of pi thirds is root 3 over 2. So if we have sine t on both sides, if we take half a sine t away, we find that 1 half sine t is equal to cosine t times root 3 over 2. So if I divide both sides by cosine and multiply both sides by 2, sine divided by cosine would be the tangent of t. If I multiply this by 2, I get that the tangent t is equal to root 3. Now, let's think about when is the tangent equal to root 3. Well, um, in, in this range from 0 to 2 pi, one time that happens is when t is, um, when the angle is pi thirds. So when the angle is pi thirds, then we have root 3 over 2 over 1 half. So at that angle, the tangent is um, tangent is root three. Let's see. That also occurs over here though as well. So when we go pi thirds beyond pi, so that would be three pi thirds plus pi thirds would be four pi thirds. Happens again here, um, where the tangent is root three. So at what times the interval between zero and two pi does that occur? Only at these two times at. Uh, at t equals pi thirds and t equals 4 pi thirds. If we allowed it to go out of this range, of course, there would be more solutions. So if we didn't put any restriction on t, on t then they would meet infinitely many times, of course. Um, what's the farthest apart that they get? So if we look at, uh, let's call f the farthest apart that they get, it would be s1 minus s2. Let's, uh, sometimes it's not really positive, sometimes it'll be negative. So we're looking for when is it maximal and also when is it minimal. So that would be when is uh, sine t minus sine t plus pi thirds as big or as small as possible. So when it's really big, it means that s1 is positive and s2 um, is uh, farther is farther away, right? So you could have the you could have uh, or you could also have s1 be a very negative number, um, and so you could have a, a minimum, a, a minimum value for this thing too. The most negative this value gets. So um, we have bounds on t. We just find the derivative and look for critical part, critical points. It would be cosine t minus the cosine of t plus pi thirds. There, we want it. That's always defined. So we want to know well. Is there any time when it's um, is there any time when it is zero? If we set it equal to zero, we get this. Uh, we had pretty good success using the angle sum formula when we were trying to solve this other one that involves sine. So let's try that again. The cosine of the sum is the cosine of the first, has the cosine of the second. We've already marked that the cosine of pi thirds is one half, minus the sine of the first uh, times the sine of the second. The sine of um, pi thirds is root three over 2. So there's the formula for the cosine of a sum. If we move this over, we have that um, to 
take this over here, we have 1 half cos t is negative sine t times root 3 over 2. I'm going to um, divide both sides by cosine and multiply both sides by negative 2. When I do that, sine um, divided by cosine, um, let's see, sine divided by cosine would be tangent. So we get the tangent of t. And over on the other side, I was going to multiply by negative 2, so we get a negative. Let me also divide by negative root, negative root 3, or divide by root 3. So I find that the derivative is 0 when the tangent of t is uh, negative 1 over root 3. So let's see, when is the tangent negative 1 over root 3? Well, the tangent is only negative in the second and fourth quadrants. And it's going to be negative 1 over root 3 when the angle is here, either 5 pi 6, or over here, which would be 11 pi 6. In both cases, just pi 6 short of uh, an a, a pi or of a full circle here. OK, so those are the two times when we can have uh, maximum and minimum distances. If we check them, let's see, the, the farthest apart they are at time 5 pi 6 would be the sine of 5 pi 6, which is 1 half. Uh, minus the sine of 5 pi 6 plus 2 pi 6 would be 7 pi 6. So sine of 7 pi 6 and the sine of 7 pi 6 is, um, let's see, just pi 6 past that, so it's negative 1 half. Hmm. So we get maximum distance of 1 between them. The other location was at 11 pi 6. At 11 pi 6, let's see, the sine of 11 pi 6 is negative 1 half minus um, the sine of 11 pi 6 plus 2 pi 6 would be 13 pi 6. That's the same thing as pi 6, so that's minus 1 half, so we get negative 1. So the farthest apart they get is. Uh, is uh, 1 or negative 1, so the distance between them is 1. So the distance part of the part they get is 1. Finish up this last part, I'm going to need a little more space, so let me clean off what we have so far. When is the distance between them changing the fastest? So we're interested not in when the distance is biggest, but when the change in the distance is biggest. We already figured out that the change in the distance from the the previous slide here, we found that um, f prime was cos and t minus cos and t plus pi thirds. Okay, and we want to find when is this derivative biggest and smallest. So the biggest value will be some positive value, and the smallest value will be some negative value. Um, either one of them is, is going to be a rapid rate of change. Let's see, so what we need to do to, to uh, find when this derivative is biggest and smallest is to look at the derivative of the derivative. So we get minus sine t, and um, let's see, minus sine t, and the derivative of minus cosine is plus sine t plus pi thirds. Set that equal to zero to find critical points. And we find that, um, let's see, sine t plus pi thirds needs to equal sine t. And we've already solved that condition before, I think, when sine t was sine t plus pi thirds. We found that it happened at, um, at two times, at pi thirds and at four pi thirds. So this is going to be true when t is pi thirds and when it is 4 pi thirds. So those will have to be the times when um, the distance between them is changing the fastest. Now technically we should check the value of the function, which is the change in distance, right? Change in the difference between the two. Um, we should calculate that at our endpoints, which are 0 and 2 pi, as well as calculating it at um, f prime at pi thirds and 
5 prime at 4 pi thirds. Okay, when we look at calculating those, if we plug um, 0 in, the cosine of 0 is um, 1, and 0 plus pi thirds, the cosine of pi thirds is 1 half, so we get uh, 1 half in that case. When you plug in 2 pi, the cosine of 2 pi is 1, and again, the cosine of 2 pi plus pi thirds is the same as the cosine of pi thirds, which is 1 half, so we get 1 half in that case. And um, then we can plug in um, pi thirds in here, and the cosine of pi thirds is 1 half, and the cosine of pi thirds plus pi thirds is the cosine of 2 pi thirds. That's minus 1 half, and so we get 1. And uh, looks like the same deal at 4 pi thirds. The cosine at um, 4 pi thirds is negative 1 half. And uh, 4 pi thirds plus pi thirds would be um, 5 pi thirds. In that case, the cosine is 1 half. Negative 1 half minus 1 half is negative 1. So the fastest that um, they're moving apart is 1. And the fastest rate at which they're moving together is negative 1 for that derivative. So when is the distance between them changing the fastest? It looked like it occurred at pi thirds and 4 pi thirds.